What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and this new very private mod. And I made a mistake in the end of my last episode. I said, and I apologize for this, that this mod was made by Multiply, and that is a barefaced lie. This mod is by Jackal, but it is private and it will stay private due to the reason is that when you move around the garage, basically, if you like move it into the car wash, you will get wedged in the wall and you can't get out. Unless you have some other external mods that can move you. For example, we've got the quality of life mod, so we can move out if we do get stuck. It's not a big issue here, but that's the reason why it will never be a public mod. It will remain private for that reason, but it is awesome. And nonetheless, I absolutely love this. I think it is a fantastic. And we will be taking this racing truck around the racetrack today. Try and beat that Evo 10. I don't think we'll be able to do that, but we should be able to get some cool, fun lap times in in this big old race truck. Let's get in and take a look. I say old. It's 2015. It's not really an old vehicle, but this is the Actros race truck. There's two versions. There's the decal version and the non-decal version. And, well, the difference is all the decals on it. I feel like they're self-explanatory, but there we go. It is what it is. Let's jump in. With the, we got ours from the auction house. It's available from the barn at the junkyard or the auction house. And the condition-wise, I've definitely seen a lot worse. So it's not too shabby, but we do have quite a lot to claw back on this one today as we definitely didn't get a good deal for this. I bought it for 4,644,918 and I can sell it right now for 3 million. 968,031 losing out on 676,887 hopefully we'll be able to claw all of that loss back as we upgrade and tune at this beautiful Actros or Mercedes a race truck the engine in it is the i6 double overhead cam BU2 a turbo engine currently pumping out 826 factory horsepower and that's where it sits you're gonna have to make that one look absolutely awesome later I'll tell you what would be nice if we could get these poles or bars or restraining bars whatever you want to call them in the same color as the metal work on that engine bay i think that would look absolutely incredible if we can do that we'll give that a go a little bit later on but this is that beast of a truck i'm looking forward to this one but before we fully jump in i need to say a big congratulations to me yes that's right i'm pressing the wrong button i am the winner of the previous red dot games discord competition with my mazda rx wing at seven absolutely love this build and i hope you guys well so obviously you guys did as well it won the competition i still need some guys to give me a score out of 10 though in the comments so we can get this beautiful beautiful rx wing seven there's a toilet there if i could go up onto our lovely show car board once we get it on there so i do need some scores out of 10 so we can get it on. I've got three people so far who have voted. Just need a couple more and we'll be able to get this one onto the board. So let me know in the comments what you think of the beautiful RX Wing 7. And if you want access to this beautiful config that I did, hit that join button below for £2.99 a month or whatever that would be in your local currency. One, it really, really does support me. And two, you get access to all of my configs and liveries that I create for this game. It's the only way to get them. They aren't available anywhere else. So if you want them, Hit that join button below. Plus, we've got a lovely little Discord. It's a little private Discord where everyone can have a little chat, a little laugh. And sometimes I ask for help with my builds. For example, picking rims and spoilers and things like that. But anyway, back to this wonderful, wonderful racetrack. I say that. In fact, before we jump back to this wonderful racetrack, the new competition is up and running. We don't currently know which car it will be for the selection yet. The five are currently up there. But by the time you see this video, we will know. So I will include it on screen after I've finished editing. So have a look. Whatever car is there, that is the car we're all working for on the next competition. So head over to the official Red Dot Games Discord server. Take part in the competition. It's a lot of fun. Lots of bragging rights. And we're back to the mods. And I do believe it's going to be the Mazda that takes the win on this one so if the master is the picture you see on screen that's the car we all need to build for the next competition let's get on with it though back to the beautiful race truck as we've already covered everything i'm not sure what to do color wise for this beautiful truck but we are certainly going to be tuning it modifying it and making it look as absolutely awesome as i can but let's get this wonderful beast started let's get it into the car wash let's get it cleaned up this is why the mod will always be private. As you can see, we've moved it into the car wash and I am pressing forward, backwards, left and right. And it's not doing anything. All I can do is move around with my mouse to see what I can see. This is why it will always be a private and never be a public mod. Because unless you have other external mods, you'll be stuck here forever in your game. Luckily, we've got the quality of life mod so we can press escape, hit the debug menu, teleport ourselves to the garage and then run back out the back 
down to the car wash where we'll be able to get this beautiful race truck cleaned. But that's the reason um, it happens in the dyno. It happens in the paint booth. It happens, I think, everywhere you move the truck apart from into the main garage and outside into the parking. So, yes, that's why it'll always be private and never be public. But let's get this beautiful truck cleaned, see what colour it is underneath this dust and grime. Can't squeeze around the uh, front of the truck. There isn't quite enough room, but that looks to me like a two-tone grey. It's got like a dark grey at the bottom with a light grey at the top. I'm quite liking it. Maybe we should go for that with like a splash of green, like maybe some of the darker stuff on the block in a green and some of the metalwork in like a chrome colour maybe. Not sure yet. We'll have to see as we crack on. But let's get the interior done. Get this wonderful beast of a truck back onto the lifter. Get the engine ripped out of there and start stripping everything down. The truck is all clean and in the air. Is there an oil pan? There is an oil pan. So we definitely need to get all of that drained out. Let's get started. Out you come. That is absolutely filthy. Not a well looked after race truck in my opinion. So let's get that one put away. Get underneath and see what we need to take out to remove this beast of an engine. Obviously, we need to start with that wonderful starter just there. Out you come. The smallest drive shaft I think I've ever seen in the game. So out you come. Nice and easy there. There we go. And then on to that big beast of a gearbox. Out you come. And then we'll probably need to take out some of this exhaust as well. So there's the front exhaust section. And the rest of that we can... Well, we might as well just grab now as we are here. Just a rear muffler and the middle muffler there for that one. So back down you go. And let's try and pull that engine out of there. I wonder where the engine crane will go on this one. I'm not sure. So let's get going. Move the crane over. And it does go to the front, which uh, I, I sort of get that. I guess that's slightly closer to the front than it is to the back but anyway let's get that engine ripped out nice and easy that is what we like when it comes out in one go oh now we've got the hood open officially there you go with some parts in there that's looking incredible what the hell is that that is a headlight okay and i'm assuming the left headlight probably goes on the other side that's pretty incredible i like that but let's jump in and see what we've got inside this engine bay so we've got the brake servo power steering reservoir wishy washy reservoir and an ABS pump and module just here. The battery sat a little bit further back. We've also got a large intercooler and a radiator sat a bit further down the bottom. Looking nice. Into where the actual engine is, we've got the air filter and a coolant reservoir just there. I can't see much more. Oh, there's the ECU tucked further up along with the fuse box actually inside the cab. Liking that one. It does mean we'll be able to add a load of performance with our ECU tuning a little bit later on. Can I get down the back? Do we have anything else down here just apart from the fuel tank and the fuel pump? So no, not that much. If we just go into here and see what's missing. Missing quite a few bits from the suspension there, but that is what it is. We can deal with that. The bottom arm, all of the spring setup on there. The rest of the spring setup on that side. The shocks both sides and the sway bar and obviously both of them sway bar end links as well. A few bushings and a few little arms down there. Obviously we had all of the exhaust, most of the engine, at least I believe we did. And a lot of the rest of that looks like it's all there. That's pretty incredible. But now we need to drain some liquids. Let's just make sure I can reach them all. Where's the other one? Brake servo. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's get back into normal mode. Additional tools. Drain tool. Click and hold on whichever container it is you want to drain the liquid from. And it will drain it all out. But we're going to get the rest of this all stripped down. And then when we come back, it'll be time to sort out the bodywork for this beautiful race truck. That's everything mechanical, repaired, replaced, or upgraded in our race a truck ready to go. Obviously, we're not installed it all yet, but now we need to sort out all of this wonderful bodywork. So let's just start tearing it down. Front bumper hood. Does that pull out the headlight? No, because it sits underneath it. That makes perfect sense. What else have we got here? Front end is apart. Loads of details on there. Front clamshells out. You come as well. Obviously, we don't have the windshield on there. So off with that door. Front left fender. Is this a part? Is this a part? Is this a part? Is this a part? It doesn't look like any of that's a part. That's all internals. What else have we got? Car part three out. You come. Rear right fender off of you come. Rear left fender off of you come. And the bumper with some lovely little tail lights down there as well. Nothing else on there. Car part two is obviously a thing. That massive wing is a whole part on there. Car part one is all of the detailing on there. Liking that. That's a nice little addition. What else have we got? Was that a part? Or was I just seeing like suspension items and stuff popping up? Looks like it. The fender from the other side. No door on this side. What was that? That was a seat. That's all part of the body. That's all part of the body. So that might be everything. Let's just get in and get this interior out. 
got the Nismo Recaro seats in there at the moment. I'm not sure if they'll stay. They may do. And no steering wheel. Let's just double check. See if we can actually install a steering wheel. We can indeed. That's always good. Definitely happy with that. But as, is that everything? I don't want that screen. I want this screen. Body's at 2%, so we're definitely missing something. Car part 5. Let's go, while we're here, let's just go into the body shop. So fresh import goods, because there's a mod and the race truck. What is car part 5? Five? 5 is a little antenna somewhere. Now, where would you stick a little antenna? Is that that up there? There it is. That's quite hard to reach. What else is it? Can I get it from somewhere else? That is very hard to reach. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually get that. Can I get it from somewhere else? There we go. Car part five. We can just nip it from the back there. That was a slightly easier place to get it from. But is that everything now? Nothing showing up there. 1% on there. The frame's at 24%. And obviously we spent a lot on this truck. Over 4.6 million when we bought it. So I think this is going to be a lot. I don't know how. I'm going to go 5,000. 27,500. Way, way, way off on that one. But let's get in and have a proper look at this a body shop. There is only two pages. It is nice and simple. Car part one is just a thing. So is car part two. Then you've got car part three, which is the one without the decals and the one with the decals. Four, five, and six are just what they are. Then you've got options for front bumpers or front clamshells. The front end is what it is. The doors are optional with the decals or without the decals. We're obviously going to go with the full decals on ours today. I'm assuming the options are the same on the hood there as well. Where was that big old wing? Oh, that's car part two. That's fair enough. Good. Glad to see that. And then lots of other bits. Everything is just like for like unless it's got decals on it. And that way you get an option. So we're going to go with all of the decal stuff. But what we are going to do is we're going to try and repair as much as we can. And then come back and get the rest of this truck all back together. Ready to go into the paint shop and pick some colors. Let's get all of this wonderful bodywork all back together. And get this beautiful race truck in there to the paint shop. Starting with the left door. We did obviously manage to repair that, but we did have to buy a new windows and a new mirrors for obviously on there and a new windshield. And plus we didn't have the window wipers before either. So all of that is all brand new on there. Uh, this is a brand new door, brand new mirror, brand new window. Nice and easy. Uh, then we've got our beautiful hood. We did have to buy a new one of these. I couldn't quite repair that one. Front clamshells, we did manage to repair them along with the front bumper as well. Looking pretty nice. But now we need to get it open up because the headlights do sit underneath. So let's get them in there. In you go and in you go. And then obviously we've got that front end piece as well. Looking good. Let's close you back down and let's carry on around. We're going to start with the higher up pieces. For example, the tail lights are technically in there. Car part six, up you go. And then car part five above it, the one we struggled to reach at the beginning. Then we got our, then we got our big old spoiler piece on you go with the car part two and a car part one in there as well with all the detailing. Then we've got the front left fender car part three which is both sides obviously all of these are the alternative parts with the decal bits on them as you can see there around to the side we go on you go and we'll get that front fender in there as well and then back down to the back we've got the rear clamshell piece which is where it actually connects up to the trailer if we didn't have a massive spoiler obviously and then the rear bumper and then a couple of little tail lights in there just down at the back and i think that is everything for the bodywork. We will double check it in a second. I'm not 100%, but I can't see everything right now or anything else right now. So let's get on and get the interior. We did start with a Nismo seat, but we did also have an SLS steering wheel, which I liked. So we're keeping that one on there. And I have also swapped the seats to the SLS seats, keeping it all just a little bit on a brand there, in my opinion. If we open that up, we will change the colors on them just a little bit later on. So there's not so much bright red in there. I don't think that's really what this build's after. So let's go up a little bit and uh, check it out from the front there. As you can see, the seats look quite good in there. Maybe we will keep the red. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll figure all of that out when we get into the paint shop. But before we get there, have we got everything? 100%, 100%, 100%. We actually have. Fantastic. All looking beautiful. Now let's get our race truck into the paint shop and pick some colours. We're in the paint booth, and as you can see, we've got a beautiful two-tone color on this race truck here. We've got some parts in this beautiful pearl green. I'll show you the full color of that one in a minute. And then the top half of the truck in this beautiful gray, all in a pearl finish, looking good. If I just go on to here, and then we'll just go into the colors. That's for the gray. Yeah, 0, 0, 25. I confused myself there. I'm not going to lie. 
Zero zero twenty five for the grey, and if we go back over onto our pearl green and back into the colours, that is one fifteen one hundred sixty for that green. And while we're here, we did also get all our screws and bolts painted in a white. But I have already fully painted and everything, so let's come out of there and uh, check this beautiful truck out. Obviously, as I said, it's got that green going down all the way around the outside, and obviously keeping all the decals on them looking beautiful and then the gray on the top half of the truck mostly inspired by the fact that i thought it was two-tone at the beginning when it wasn't it was one solid gray just some damaged parts but i thought it was two-tone which then put the two-tone in my head to have the lower half a different color not just a lighter or darker version of the main color but a totally different color and i think this bright green is definitely what we're going for on there i got all of these poles in the dark uh, in that bright green as well so all the uh, uh, metallic parts on the top of the engine i'm going to try and see if we can get in with that bright green hopefully it's going to look awesome i don't think i've got anything in that i can put in to show you the bolts have i oh there is there is a piece this one here abs pumper module obviously not painted yet but we can just check out and see if the bolts work which they did you can see them lovely white bolts on there but we're not actually putting that on now so let's take them off i just wanted to check out the bolts and there we go that's the colors we've gone for i think it's looking awesome we did also get a little bit of green on that steering wheel and that seat has come out looking horrible. I'm going to change the finish on them seats because they currently look awful. I'm not happy with that. They didn't look like that in the paint shop. But anyway, we'll take them out. Steering wheel looks great. Just going to slightly adjust the seats, but then we'll get this piece back on the lifter. And why is all the roll cage in here gone all white? That was all gray a minute ago. I mean, I'm not bothered. I actually quite like it because I was thinking of splashing some more white on this build anyway. So... Yeah, I'm just a bit... They weren't white earlier. They were body-coloured grey when I did it earlier. But I'm going to leave that like that because now it's a triple-tone paint job with some white on that framing on the inside. And then, obviously, we got the green on these. Should we do the white on the framing in this? Oh, no. I'm going to leave it green for the time being. But I may change it a little bit later on. But there we go. Everything on the body painted. Some bits have changed colour on their own. I don't quite know how that worked, but I like the look of it anyway. So now let's get this beast back on the lifter and start getting it. All back together. That's everything painted on the beautiful race truck. And yes, we have made just a couple of changes since you've seen it last. First off, obviously, this massive spoiler part is all in white now instead of the green. I think it just looks a little bit better. I've changed some of the colors around. Obviously, we've kept all this underside in that beautiful green in there. But since we've uh, changed this to white, I've also been in and changed the bolts to green. And uh, for some reason... The interior here has now gone green. You saw it as a white in the paint shop before. I've since been back and painted it again so that we could get the bolts into a green. Um, and it went grey, same as the body. And then since I've been away and came back, it's it's now all gone green. But never mind, I actually think it suits it quite well. I'm going to say that this vehicle, it paints the interior the same colour as the screws. Whatever colour you paint the screws and bolts, that's what colour the interior will go. That's all I can take away from this one. But that was cool. But it is still looking good. Let's get in and sort of check out this engine bay. Obviously in here, the brake servo not painted. Power steering reservoir not painted either. But we have got white on the ABS pump. And then obviously grey on that module on top underneath. We've got an intercooler in the grey with a radiator in the white. Let's jump in here. We've also got the wishy-washy reservoir unpainted there. And that's all looking quite good. Grey on the uh, fan housing kit and then green fans. Up here we've got grey on the tray bracket, white on the support rods and a green on the tray underneath and then obviously we've got the air filter that is in a little carbon weave on there looking quite good this is actually a visible from the back and then this coolant reservoir we just put a body colored gray on it to help keep that one hidden just a little bit more onto the suspension we've got some pearl black in here as well center pieces and on the knuckles and also on the shocks there everything else is dark is in that body sort of colored gray on there with a few splashes of white here and there. We've got solid white on a few little pieces, and then the rest of it is in that beautiful body colored green, all looking fantastic. The rear end is about the same. If I could get down there, very long vehicle. There we go. Got that gloss black in the middle, sorry, pearl black in the middle, and then obviously the pearl gray on all of the arms with lots of that green going all the way around and a couple of splashes of white with the fuel tank in a gray and the fuel pump in a lovely little green on there. But that is enough about this beautiful looking truck. Now we need to go build that turbocharged i6 engine. So let's get into the next room 
And let's crack on with this beast. On we go. The block is in just a straight up grey. The head is in a straight up grey as well. Obviously, we kept some of the red accents on the inside. And the oil pan is in that green. So mimic the livery on the vehicle. But it's green at the bottom half and everything else is grey. On the top here, you've obviously got your six spark plugs down the middle. Two camshafts either side with seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven camshaft caps per camshaft. So 14 of them in total. But let's get on and get this all together. We'll start with some lovely white ignition coils just running down the centre here. In you go, in you go. Oh, we nearly missed it. And on you go. We'll get the fuel filter in a black in there as well. And we'll also grab the oil filter just in a cheeky little white. We'll get that on there as well. Oh, I seem to be stuck. It didn't want to let me select these. Cam gears on we go. I've gone for the adjustable cam gear I4 because it will let me put them on this engine. And I've finished them in that beautiful body coloured green, even if I do keep zooming in a bit too much. Water pump in a cheeky little white. Alternator in a cheeky little white just on there. And then the power steering pump also in a cheeky little white. All looking very good. Belt in you go, just blacked out as normal. We've got a water pump pulley just up here. And an idle roller in the green, obviously, just down here. Now, the normal timing cover on you go in a pearl a black on there, looking good. And then we've got the uh, aftermarket TK uh, aftermarket alternate parts. This is the Multiplies BU2 engine cover on there, where it leaves the cam gears are just visible. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And the top cover, when it goes on over the top, does the same job as well. Idle roller B, obviously, in you go in the green. And then we've gone for a TK aftermarket crankshaft pulley that also fitted in that lovely green as well. On with the last belt. And we do have a cheeky little, if I could just get it, white belt tensioner just there. And obviously a lovely fan, which we've just done in that body coloured grey. All looking fantastic so far. But we've got lots more to pin on this engine. I say lots more, it's not that much more. Let's crack on. So we've got the engine head covers. In you go. They are both in a body coloured green on there. Looking fantastic. One that side, one this side. Nice and simple. In you go. Bolted all the way up and ready to go. Then we've got that cover on the top. As I said, it's the Multiplies additional one. So it keeps the cam gears visible with that lovely bit of green on there. Thank you very much for that Multiply. It's absolutely fantastic. In we go with that. Then onto this side, we've got our beautiful intake manifold, which is in green and white. You would have guessed that one. Looking fantastic on there. We're keeping all of the metal parts on the top the same colour as all of that tubular framing, if we can. Throttle in here is in green and white as well. Obviously, I'm sure you probably all saw that coming. There is a few options if you want to build this one with the BU2 options from Multiply. Um, but I decided not to go with them. We're keeping it pretty stock, he says. A few extra parts on it, mostly stock though. Oh, I forgot a part. We'll get back to that in a minute. Exhaust manifold in you go for the BU2 Turbo. Just in a cheeky little white. All of these bolts that I'm doing up now, when they go in the car, will go to a beautiful green. And the bit I forgot, don't forget yours in here. Fuel rail I6. In you go. Just in a cheeky little steel black and green on there. Just to finish that one off. And then on with this beautiful turbocharger, which is in the white and green. You could have guessed that one. Nice and easy. And there we go. That is the I6 turbo engine. Oh, sorry, twin turbo engine. There's two turbos in there. Looking absolutely fantastic. But let's get it off the stand. And let's get it dropped into our beautiful race truck. Here we go. Let's get the turbo I6 dropped into the truck. In you go. Nice and easy. Let's get the crane put away. Obviously, we're going to close the hood because we don't need it because the engine that sits in the middle. And that's looking pretty fantastic on there, if I do say so myself. Keeping up with that white that we've obviously got on the framing for that spoiler. Lots of the green that we've got on the lower part of the body. And then grey and black that we've got dotted everywhere else. I think that is looking beautiful. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments below. But we have got a few bits to crack on with. So let's get this truck up in the air. Get the gearbox in, the drive shaft in, and obviously all of that exhaust as well. Let's just jump in at the front here. Go into the additional mode. I didn't quite want to do that all the way, but there we go. Onto that gearbox, which is in a grey. Just straight up grey on that. I didn't two-tone it. It looked a bit funny, so we just left it in that grey. Starter up here is in a cheeky little white. Looking good. Obviously, now we've got all the green bolts in here as well. Oh, that's all looking good on the top. And I've done quite a good job of colour matching that green for the bolts on there. Looking nice. A little bit of silver just there on these pieces. Couldn't do anything with that. I probably could have. I probably could have painted the camshafts green as well, couldn't I? Never mind. Maybe next time we'll have a play with that one. Lots of green bolts on there all the way around. I think it's looking fantastic. Let's crack on, though. Let's get this exhaust all in. Front exhaust section A. It's quite a few of these, but you don't need them all. Green and white on there. Looking fantastic. 
Then we've got the middle muffler just in the white and that rear muffler also just in a white on there. As for our drive shaft today, again, it's a bit too long, but it is what it is. We went for the carbon one, giving us 4% extra power in a green and black, although it's carbon. We never, ever finished this one in the carbon, really. But there we go. It clips a little bit in with the gearbox just because it is such a short drive shaft on this and it shouldn't ever be that short if we're being honest but there we go that should be everything for there let's get it back down i'm not going to do much with the tinting today i'm certainly not going to tint any of the lights anywhere they're all looking good as they are you've got little bits of red up there blending in with all of that a little bit of color down there nothing wrong with that i've got no problem we're going to leave it all as it is probably not even going to tint them windows today we'll just leave it as a big old race truck ready to go around the race track but we do need to top up all these liquids and get some wonderful wheels done so i'm going to get on with that and I'll see you all in just a moment. Here's the rim that we've gone for today. This is one of the deeper dish rims, 218 or 218 from the Rims DLC. Let's get some colour on it. Obviously, we're going to splash on that beautiful green. But what I'm going to do is for my material replace, I'm going to go all the way across. And I want a cheeky little bit of white on there just with a bit of green. I think if we can do it, flat white, flat green, flat white green with a white center and i think the bolts override should take us onto the green on there we could go white rim with a green center or fully white i think we're going to go for the white center with the green rim and hopefully then bolts will go green when we get them put on the car so let's get that painted let's get these wheels all together let's get them on the truck just balancing the last rim now let's get you all together and then we can get these two for this side onto this beautiful truck and get it outside in the sun as i said a rim at 218 for the rears let's click onto that one there you need a 20 well you don't need you can do whatever you want but i've gone for a 24 inch rim with a 520 width tire with a 45 profile on there an et of 85 at the back to bring this rim out in line with the edge of them rear fenders on there let's get you all bolted up now this is a bit long so you are going to have to like come away to get that rim you literally can't press it from anywhere so we come out of that we'll have a cheeky little look just there that's looking pretty good just sticking out a little bit same as it is for the other side and a little bit out the front there and then let's get on the front rim for the fronts exactly the same except you don't need any et at the front so it's still a 24 inch rim 520 width and a 45 profile on there on you go and then obviously we do have them green bolts in the center with a white rim around the outside green rim around the outside and a white center in there all looking absolutely fantastic and i do believe that is this a race truck now 100 all finished let's just get in and check the statistics real quick 100 100 100 100 percent well and truly all finished let's get this one outside in the sun do any finishing touches listen to that i6 to get this beast onto the dyno before we take it onto the racetrack. Well, there she is, all finished. The beautiful Actros race truck by Mercedes Benz. Looking absolutely beautiful with the green lower half, all the grey and the black at the top half, and then that big old white spoiler with the carbon details on the back as well. And that beautiful black, grey, green, and a white engine on there. Looking absolutely fantastic. I think this one is absolutely beautiful. We've got no plates to drop on this one today because it is a well and true fully fledged race a truck so there we go what do you guys think of this beast do let me know in the comments below but let's get on and let's see what this i6 turbocharged race truck sounds like let's get it started bit of a weird spaceship tick over there but let's give it some gas that's better not much over rev on that one just as it is and then that lovely little turbo whistle just finishing it all off sounding beautiful but now let's get this beast onto the dyno see what its horsepower is what its drag rating is and then let's get it onto the racetrack see if we can beat that evo 10. let's get this beast of a race truck dyno then and its i6 turbocharged engine pumping out 826 of factory horsepower how much have we increased it by today and what will its drag rating be let's take a look from the race truck a gain of 780 horsepower not quite a whole new engine but 95 percent so that is a very very close but bringing us up to 1605 horsepower from a mercedes-benz truck this should be a little wild drag rating of b 316 so only in the second to top class not quite all the way up there still quite a low number in my opinion but we're not drag racing it we're taking this beast around the racetrack today so let's go and have a look at the wonderful gearbox tune i wasn't even sure if i'd fit through there but let's have a look at the gearbox tune today that's what we've gone for a 3.75 ratio 
88 kilometers an hour in a first gear up to a reported 315 kilometers an hour in sixth gear i'm not sure how much of any of that we'll use around the racetrack this is going to be quite a challenge i will tell you that one fully tuned at stage three ecu in there given us 16 percent additional tune nice and easy there is a little short link to the top right hand corner for you to easily see how to do this every time nice and simply it's also linked in the description below along with how to tune the carb video lovely little short both of them are shorts nice and easy to watch less than a minute and it shows you how to tune them both very easily every time but now let's get the mercedes-benz actros race truck onto the racetrack and see what she can do here we are then on the racetrack with the actros mercedes-benz race truck this thing is absolutely wild and just a little bit too big if i'm being honest we aren't going to be able to do the chase cam today i'll show you why i can't see in front of the truck at all it's not going to work so we're going to have to go with the in the cab cam for this one now this is quite a wild truck to drive obviously our goal is to beat the evo 10 with a 1 at 16 a point one one nine, and i can tell you we're not even getting close to that today let's be honest this is a big old heavy truck and it likes to spin its rear wheels if you are a little bit on the acceleration going around the corner so it's a bit of a challenge so let's have some fun with it let's get on with it let's go and do the standing lap which you won't see too much of and then we'll do the full flying lap which we'll see all of regardless of what happens and then we'll see if we can get this beautiful beast into the top five i mean it's worth a shot i highly doubt it but let's go and come on you beautiful racetrack race track race truck off the line let's get going and as i said not really an acceleration around the corners otherwise this will spin so just letting off the accelerator completely when it straightens it up go again no real braking needed there as we pull around and then accelerate once we're straight again and pulling it around for this corner and oh i accelerated a little bit too early there and we nearly well and truly lost it back fully on the power now and let's get on with the rest of this beautiful lap into our big banked right hand turn we're going to drop it down into third back on the power a little bit for the entrance to the corner and then let this pull us all the way right until we're straightened up back on the power down into second i should have done that first but never mind we do a bit more acceleration before the final corner let's go let off the power again pull us back around oh nice oh, i accelerated too early let's just get on with it and let's keep going across the line in a 151 definitely not a good time off the acceleration for the first corner pull us around back on the power off the acceleration for the second corner let the truck pull us around its own back on the power for the third corner and then back on the power again oh a little bit too early nearly spun out there and there we go let's head into our first big banked left hand turn let's get on with this you beautiful little race truck now we are going to be a little bit of braking drop it down a gear a bit more acceleration to get us up to the corner then off the acceleration as we fully come around back on the power on this straight away and then we're going to come off the accelerator and let it coast around there back on the power again and we are even going to come off the power for this corner because it has ruined me a few times while i was practicing but then back fully on the power on the straight as we come into the bigger bank right hand turn bit of braking and drop it down the gear a bit more acceleration to get us up to the corner then we use the truck coasting to pull us all the way around back on the power and the exit down into seconds just to give us an extra little bit of acceleration as we head up towards the big bank left hand turn a bit more braking again down a gear back fully on the power at the start of the corner then off of the power back a little bit of acceleration there just to keep us going and then back fully on the power on the exit as we come in towards that s section and there goes the evo 10 time again and let's just get through this x section s section to see what times we can get from the beautiful racetrack down into third bit of acceleration a bit more braking for the second part of this corner i'm not going to accelerate through there because i want to make sure i get all the way around but a bit of extra power before the final corner that was awful draw drop it down a gear and accelerate come on you beautiful truck what have we got a 143.648 from the fantastic actros race truck obviously no record breaking lap times from this one today but it is what it is the truck itself looks absolutely fantastic so let's get this beast back to the garage see if we did manage to squeeze it onto that racetrack lap time board I'm pretty confident we didn't and then see if we can sell this beautiful truck on for a tasty bit of profit sadly our not so little race truck didn't do overly well on the racetrack coming in at 20th 
out of 21, losing out in that Evo 10 by a whopping 27 seconds. That's quite a considerable difference. But there we go. It is what it is. Let's talk some facts and figures. Now, I bought the truck for quite a bit of money, as you probably recall. At the beginning there, we spent 4644918 just to purchase this truck. But since then, we spent a further 291000 788 upgrading modifying a tuning and painting this beautiful race truck to how you see it here today pitting our total spend at four million nine hundred and thirty six thousand seven hundred and six which is absolutely insane almost five million on this beautiful race truck but the question is can we make a profit from this one there is only one way to find out let's get in and let's take a look there she is, all 100% complete, running at 75,900 kilometers, even after all of my testing today. And we did almost keep it in the factory color gray, just a tiny little bit darker. And then obviously we splashed in all of the rest of the color in there, looking absolutely fantastic. That engine, the i6 turbo double overhead cam engine from 826 factory horsepower up to 1,605, a gain of 95%. Loving that one absolutely fantastic not quite a whole new engine though but it's still very good nonetheless just a bit too heavy to be good around the racetrack but we did spend almost five million to get it up to here so is there some money to be made i certainly hope so let's have a look wow with a sale of 19 million four hundred and seventy eight thousand four hundred and ten that leaves us with profit for days 14 million five hundred and forty one thousand seven hundred and four profit from the beautiful racetrack, I'm stuck on a pillar. There we go. The beautiful race truck. I keep saying race track instead of race truck, but it is what it is. Lots of profit from the beautiful race truck. Absolutely fantastic. Now it is unfortunate that this can't be made public, as I've already shown the sort of the things that go wrong with it in the game, and that's the reason it can't. But it is still pretty epic nonetheless. Absolutely love it. Beautiful work by Jackal. Fortunately, I can't share it with you guys, which is a bit of a shame. But it is what it is. But anyway, let's get this truck sold off. Off you go. We'll definitely take all of that beautiful money. Taking us now for the first time over 100 million. 105 million, 695,864. But that is it for the race truck. Now, before we move on to what we've got coming next, you can see it on the truck there. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who voted for my RX Wing 7, giving it the win in the official Red Dot Games Discord competition. Obviously, just for some drag bragging rights, we don't have any prizes or anything like that. Let's get those headlights back open. There we go. Looking awesome with a little bit of red glow from it. Don't forget, though, I do need you guys to give me a score out of 10 on this one for our lovely lovely show car board where is it going to end up hopefully definitely in that top four that would be my opinion but we shall see i've had three entries or scores so far so do give me a score out of 10 in the comments below and we'll get this one added to the show car board in the very next episode but what have we got coming up next well we've done this beautiful big old truck before but not this particular version this is i think like the third or fourth video i made which was a ford f150 we did the normal raptor version for so for this time we're coming back to it we're going to do the shelby raptor version this is an absolute beast i love it Ninety six thousand kilometers on this one it's available from the auction at the salon or the junkyard and we got ours from the auction house and obviously the bad auction house as you can see i mean everything's not too bad but the body parts are um definitely lacking just a tiny little bit there if we're being honest but it is what it is the engine in this one is the V8 double overhead cam supercharged engine as it stands at the moment, pumping out 703 horsepower. Would you like to see something else swapped in it? Do let me know in the comments down below. We will put any engine you want in this one from obviously this listed four here. And then we will be taking this one around the gravel track in the next episode. See how well the Shelby Raptor can do off-roading. We'll have to wait and see and find out. Make sure you come back. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Make sure you come back on Thursday and check us out doing this awesome video. But did we get a good deal for the Shelby Raptor? No, no, we didn't. 19438 is what I paid, and I could sell it for 16071 But we did just make almost 15 million profit, so I'm not, not really worried. Let's be honest. Losing out on 3367 from this beautiful Shelby Raptor truck it is going to be awesome. So make sure you do join us back here on Thursday for this beautiful Shelby Raptor. Don't forget to give me a score out of 10 for the Mazda RX Wing 7. And if you want access to this one yourself, 
click the join button below. Become a member of the VM Garage Club where I share all my configs and liveries on our official Discord channel for it. Absolutely fantastic. £2.99 a month or whatever that would be in your local currency. If you want to play it, that is the only way to get access to this one. Thank you very much to the current channel members. You are all legends in my book. You're all on screen. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And uh, thank you very so much for watching. I hope you did all enjoy this video. Leave a cheeky little like. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments of that beautiful race truck from Jackal. It is fantastic. I appreciate you all. Have a beautiful day, whatever it is you're getting up to. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like and subscribe for Virtual Mechanics. Thank <laughs> you.